Good morning, everybody. Um, woke up at 5 a.m. It's like 5.10 right now. Um, tried to crush these 28 miles. Holy cow. My heart is pounding, though. I just went to grab my food bag to eat some breakfast. And uh, it's like down, I put it down a hill a little bit away because that's where the good trees were. And, uh, and I hear this crashing noise. It's tumbling down the hill towards me. Not towards me, but like, you know, in my general direction. And I look up and there's this massive black mass, like huge. And I'm like, that's a freaking bear. But really, I'm like hoping like, maybe it's a person who's just like, who fell or something. But I'm like, it's probably a bear. And so I look and I'm studying it. This thing is like, seven feet tall, massive antlers, it's a moose, it is huge, and it's 25 feet from me, that's dangerously close, like, and it's staring right at me, and we stand there for probably what felt like, like, five minutes, it was really just, like, probably 30 seconds, and I'm terrified, because the moose will mess you up, you don't, you don't mess with the moose. <laughs> and, uh, but I remember from another backpacking trip, uh, where, uh, one of the bus drivers was, when we were going into the trailhead, he was like, giving us moose tips. He's like, keep a tree between you and the moose. Also, if you're close enough to where the moose can see, notice you, then you're too close. And I was like, oh, I'm way too close right now. Like I was literally 25 feet from it. Um, so we just... We're, we're deadlocked there, and uh, I've got plenty of trees in between me and the moose, so I'm just like, all right, well, I'll just circle around the tree. <sighs> Eventually, it just keeps moseying on down the hill. Not moseying, it, like, that thing's fast. It also ran right by my tent, too. Like, I could have been in my tent when it passed. Holy cow. It was like... Those things are like from another planet. Like they're so big and like crazy looking. Anyways, what a, what a way to start the morning. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna eat breakfast and we're gonna go up the presidentials. Uh, presidentials are a series of um, peaks um, culminating in Mount Washington um, in the Whites. So it's gonna be a really exciting day. Uh, I'm very excited to get going on it. So I will see you all down the trail. We've been climbing the past couple hours. Um, mountains are just insane. I think we're finally on some exposed section of hiking, which I love. I'm so sick of the green tunnel, but we still got a long ways to go. We got like nine more miles till Mount Washington summit. And looking at some of these mountains around here, the fact that Mount Washington is higher than anything that we can see, it's both awesome and extremely daunting. But regardless, we climb. So yeah, it's awesome out here. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, see y'all later. All right. I think that's Mount Washington in the distance. We're gonna be basically climbing that that ridge all the way to the top. Looks like good weather, so hopefully it sticks with us. I'm just at a complete loss of words right now. This is by far the coolest hike I've ever done in my life. So you can kind of see where the trail's going. And we're going all the way to the top up there. I don't know if you can tell, there's some like buildings. Uh, apparently it's like a weather station. It's also like very commercialized up there. There's like a train that takes you to the top if you want. There's also a road that any car can just drive up. <clears throat> so kind of, you know, kind of stinks. It takes away from the natural beauty of it, but it's also kind of like a castle. Like, we're trying to climb up to the top of a castle. But man, it's just 
could not ask for better weather today. Hopefully the clouds stay away from the peak. Um, Cause I'd love to see the views from up there. I'm just speechless, <laughs> absolutely speechless. So I think we got like six more miles to go. So let's, let's get to it. That's definitely the evil castle that we got to get to. <laughs> That's all I could think about. Actually, honestly, it looks like a uh, amusement park, like like drop zone, like one of those dropping rides or something. I wouldn't have been surprised if there's like a Ferris wheel. Cracks me up. I cannot describe like how unbelievably high up we are. I can't believe like these exist, these mountains. It's so unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. So, all right, next stop, top of Mount Washington. So real quick, these are the huts. There's several of these around the lights. It's like $150 to stay here and it takes a reservation. So you basically don't do it, but they do have two work for stay slots for through hikers. Um, this one actually has something called the dungeon, which is a basement a dark and dirty basement. So that's a I want to give you guys a quick summary before I head into the bathroom. So. All right, we're at the top, finally. I've actually been here for like an hour, but uh, they do have a snack bar that serves hot food, but it closed right when I got up here. Just my luck, so. Settled on an ice cream bar and some Doritos. Um, but there is, a train that will take you up here. You can also drive or you can hike. So it's a pretty, pretty hopping place. Um, There's also a line to take a picture of the sign, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, but we made it. Got to charge my phone a bit, take a bathroom break. I don't understand how they have plumbing up here or electricity, but. I don't know. It's not my job to figure that out, <laughs> but funny nonetheless. So now it's like eight miles downhill. <laughs> so, all right. All right. <laughs> Time to go all the way back down. Oh my goodness. What a crazy day. I may honestly just night hike because I'm gonna be at 28 and a half miles. I'm gonna get into tent, the tent site at like 8.30 at this point. And then, yeah. So honestly, might as well just make it my first 30 mile day and night hike until it's 30 miles and get a stealth site somewhere. I don't know. This is a wild day. I can't believe my legs are still working, but all right. Anyways, back to it. I'll all see right. you later. This might be a top done thing I've ever done in my life. Um, my phone is making it look super bright out. It is dark. I have my headlamp on. I have to go down there. The adrenaline's pumping. I'm confident I can make it. As long as I take my time, we only have a mile until we get below tree line and I can just find the first stealth site. But I would be lying if I'm not a little scared right now. But fortunately, you know, weather should stay good. That's a pretty scary cloud. <laughs> but um, yeah, just gotta keep my wits about me. Um, one step at a time, make sure I look where I'm walking and we'll be okay. So, all right, I will <laughs> check back in when I'm safe and sound. So <laughs> wish me luck. I'll see y'all I'll see y'all down there. All right, we're finally into camp. We went 29 and a half miles <laughs> over the presidentials. That's insane. Oh, I can't believe I did that today. Probably not the smartest decision, but at the same time, it worked. So you be the judge. I know how I feel about it, and that's proud. And I had a lot of fun, so. We're here now, uh, we found a really, we didn't even find a stealth campsite, we found an actual campsite. 
and uh, it's pretty nice. So it's gonna lay down, um, catch some Z's, head into town tomorrow morning. So we did it. Good work, team. Um, yeah, and with that, I will see you all tomorrow.